Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now in the past we've covered Intel Xeon processors. We've done a $50 one, too expensive. We've done a $15 one, again, too expensive. So today we're going to be doing a $5 quad-core Xeon processor. Now obviously $15 or $50 may not be that expensive, but I thought we'd try and go as low as we could possibly go. And so I've been doing a little bit of research and I managed to find myself an Intel Xeon E5410 CPU for just $5. Now these are available on eBay in the US and in the UK and I'm pretty sure most other places as well for this ridiculously low price but what exactly is a CPU like this capable of? Well today we're going to find out. So I know what you're thinking with it being a Xeon processor it's going to be pretty awkward to try and set up. We're going to have to buy or try and find a 771 motherboard um, but that is not the case thanks to one of these stickers that you can buy in order to adapt it to fit a 775 socket motherboard. Now dlidded.com has a great article on this and they also describe all of the uh, compatible chipsets and things like that so that you uh, are pretty much guaranteed to buy a Xeon processor that will fit in a motherboard of your choice. And it just so happens the E5410 at the low low price of $5 is on that compatibility list as well and will fit in a ton of 775 boards. So you may want to uh, spend a little more money on a Xeon processor if that's the route you'd like to go down. But for the sake of finding something as cheap cheap as possible. What is this CPU capable of? Well let's get into it and see just how well it performs. So we kick things off with Crisis 3 and we actually had this CPU overclocked to 2.93 gigahertz which was quite a pain to do but once we did it it ran a lot better although it did still bottleneck the uh, GTX 950 that I decided to use for this video. I thought using the 1060 may be a bit unfair and I think for a more realistic build you're probably looking at pairing a 950 with this thing for the best results although that still will bottleneck when it comes to the CPU. Crisis 3 averaged 32. Next up we tried Overwatch with the medium preset to achieve 58 frames per second. Um, the CPU did max out at 100% throughout here and it definitely is the bottleneck in this setup along with the 8GB of DDR2 RAM. But to be honest, I think I wouldn't recommend anything more powerful than the 950, put it that way, but I think these two do complement each other quite well. Finally, in terms of games, we tested GTA 5, which with the high settings and any advanced things turned off, we averaged 48 frames per second, which in my opinion was definitely more than playable. The game also looked pretty decent as well, and I didn't experience too much stutter or slowdown even when it came to running about in the city. So now we must move on to the slightly more boring but real life practical benchmarks. So I organised everything into a single graph here, I hope you guys don't mind. Now remember these numbers shouldn't be compared to each other, they're just put this way for ease and readability. So let's start with Cinebench R15 which scored 301 in the multi-core test. Geekbench 3 Multi and Single scored 4570 and 1355 respectively. But if you want a more reasonable test to compare things to in the real world then Premiere Pro completed a 1080p 60fps render in 51 seconds which puts this thing roughly between the Phenom X4 940 and the slightly weaker 920. So there we have it, this has been the super budget Xeon video. Now obviously this processor is somewhere on par roughly with an AQ6600 Core 2 Quad and so that would be the easier option although it still retails for a little bit more money. But if you want something a little bit different, you fancy yourself a Xeon build, then the E5410 still gives you okay performance for that low, low price even though it's probably not entirely worth it. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video nonetheless. If if you did leave a like on it if you didn't leave a dislike subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one